Hi everyone, it's Jill here. Um, I keep trying to talk through my Scentsy order that was received today and for some reason it uh, it wouldn't record my voice. So I was waffling on for God knows how long and no fucker could hear me. So uh, thanks Meg for letting me know. And thanks to Mark for um, just testing it for me. So I'm now on Mark's phone. I'm not entirely sure um, what's wrong with my phone. Although it may have had something to do with me dropping my phone into the bath last week. Who knows? So um, I'll just wait for at least one person to uh, pop in. In fact, no, I'm going to just ramble on anyway. So... Um, for those of you who don't know, I have recently started up as a consultant for Sensi. So you can see them there. That's who Sensi are. So for anyone that doesn't know what Sensi is, it's um, a company that produce yummy smellies. So my website is fabsmellystuff.co.uk. Um, so if any of you are really into really nice Eric plugins or you buy the Yankee Candle stuff or you've ever bought anything from Party Light, this is a great um, healthier and safer alternative. So for example, rather than light a candle and have soot marks on your wall or on the ceiling and have... Um, candle wax dribbling everywhere these are a great alternative so for example this is a scentsy warmer it's actually called the Fitzgerald so rather than light a candle um, underneath and then let the heat melt the wax um, it's just a heated tray that's heated by a bulb and it's just it's warmed and at the back it's powered in so you plug it in and there's an on and off switch and what that does is it warms the plate and it also warms your wax and it releases that lovely smell so today I received this amazing order so I have a bag of samples so if anyone is really into the idea and um, what I can do is I can leave this bag and I mean you can see a few there but if we have a little look inside, you can see there is one of every single scent in there. So what I would always suggest is when you decide what it is that you like, either keep a pile and note them down or get yourself a notepad and pen and mark down all of the scents that you really like. But what I will do is I will post a video at some point and just explain um, the ranges and what the smells are like. So for me, for example, I really like floral smells and clean laundry smells. But a lot of people like cinnamon and vanilla. So there is something for everybody. So that's just my sample pack. If anyone would like to take this for a couple of days and sit at your leisure and have a little whiff at all these lovely little pots, just let me know. And I'll drop them in. So today I received um, an order um, for some of my lovely customers. Um, and I just wanted to share it with you really. So um, I have another Stella the Unicorn. Um, these I go, oh. <laughs> these are going like hotcakes. So what they are mm -hmm. is they are um, what we call clip-ons like the buddy clips you see here so what we do and i'm trying to do this one-handed but it's just not working so sorry about all the movement on the camera so helen i'll send you some uh, samples of the other smells if you like so this is stella the unicorn so this is a clip-on buddy so the reason why it's called that is because you can clip it on. So anyone that's got kids, now there are boys ones. I mean, I mean boys can like unicorns. I mean, I'm sure they do. 
Now, I can't explain to you the smell that has just come out because this clip-on buddy has come out of her little tub. But she smells like... Oh, it's like sweet and strawberry and... Imagine opening up a bag of sweets and you get that lovely waft of sugary gloriousness that won't give you diabetes if you sniff it. So, And these are brilliant because um, I've got one on order for Joey and it means that rather than when I'm carting him around, he has that delightful smell of diarrhoea and sick, um, I can mask it with a lovely clip-on buddy. His, his, his one is an elephant. They do do bigger ones as well. Um, and if that gets a bit whiffy, you can put it in the washing machine and it still keeps that amazing smell. So looking forward to delivering Stella. Um, here is my Fitzgerald warmer. This is mine. Um, but if anyone would like to borrow this for a day or two and with some samples, please let me know and I'll, um, I'll drop it round. This is what I have um, smelling in my house at the moment. It's fresh cut daisies and it's a, a scentsy bar. And what you do is you just break off the bricks and you pop them in your warmer and they just melt. And uh, fresh cut daisies, if, if you like the floral smell, it is absolutely divine. Um, I've also got some clothes line. So if you can imagine that really lovely smell when you go outside and it's that fresh clean smell of all of your fresh laundry it is just oh it's just lovely it's my, it's almost my favorite my favorite is by the sea and by the sea if you can imagine you go to the coast and you have that fresh sea air smell um it's almost well, I'm, when i'm talking about seasides um no offense guys I'm not talking about um, South End. I'm not talking about at the beach on the south of England that has that extra air of sewage. I'm talking about a Greek island somewhere and you get up in the morning and you go to the end of the beach and you have that fresh, clean smell. And this is what this is like. It's amazing. So that's my favourite. Um, clean Breeze, another fresh one. So um, if anyone wants a sample of these, then just let me know. And we also have Luma, which is another fresh one too. Um, it's glorious. It smells lovely. But for anyone who likes a smelly but doesn't like... Okay, so let me explain. So imagine you have something to eat and it tastes really nice and then you get that disgusting um, sort of bitter aftertaste. And sometimes you can get that with um smellies so you think it smells really nice and then it goes a bit stale and that's what you kind of get with um car air fresheners it becomes a bit chemical smelling and it gets into the back of your throat and it makes you feel a bit sick sometimes well Scentsy also do car bars so i have a few here that i've ordered for um my lovely friends so we have um vanilla bean buttercream Christmas Cottage, Honeymoon Hideaway, By the Sea, and Clean Breeze, which is in my car at the moment because, as I said, I, I just I love these smells. So, um, they're some of the smells that we've I've received today in my order, um, and also a couple of really funky warmers. So here's a Christmas special, same principle just so that I can show you. Sorry, my phone keeps going off. And that is the sound of my child laughing. So you have your on or off button here, the plug around there. And it's just a lovely Christmas themed warmer. So your hot plates there. So that is gonna be amazing. And we do have seasonal smells. So we do have Christmas smelling um, scents as well. And then one of my favorite warmers is the love bowl this is actually really popular i think um this is the third one that's gone out so there we go so um as i said on my scentsy um fab smelly stuff group page um feel free to have a browse and if anyone places an order 
and they take a photo or a video of their order when it arrives with the hashtag post your post and a link to www.fabsmellystuff.co.uk you will receive a free scent bar um i think these are five pound fifty um if you spend over 50 pounds so it's worth spending a bit extra and getting yourself a freebie um the other thing that i wanted to do was just talk about the sense the some of the, the smells so i'm just looking through and a couple of people have asked a couple of questions so sam um yes um by all means i'll give you a book or feel free to just share the link. Any questions, um, please let me know. And I'm more than happy to answer any questions you've got. Um, Rich. Oh, um, that's a really good idea. I mean, to be honest, I've been hankering for sweets all day because I keep smelling Stella. So um, there are lots of sort of fruity smells. It may... I mean, maybe not coffee, but I don't think we have any coffee smells um, or scents. But um, I'll have a look at what sort of food stuff smells we have and I'll come back to you. So I just wanted to talk about some of the classic range. I think out of all of the ranges, the classic one is actually my favourite. So um, you can go onto the website or um, if you want a book by all means let me know and I'll send one to you so clean breeze um I've spoken about quite a lot this is my absolute favorite and the description of clean breeze is white florals with a touch of spring and it's the scent of fresh clean laundry so as I said if you imagine if you go outside after you've done your laundry and it's hanging there to dry and you get that lovely whiff of um detergent and fabric softener in the cotton it, it's just amazing um, fresh cut daisies, which I've uh, mentioned all as well. So um, I've got my bars here. So um, it, it is what it says on the tin. It smells like fresh cut daisies. Um, also by the sea, I've mentioned this as well. So um, obviously there's a theme here because this is the classics range. And I think out of all the ranges, these are my favourites. So the official description of by the sea is the scent of the ocean air waiting through dewy seaside grass. <laughs> I love these descriptions. Um, once again, another fresh one, clothes line. So clothes line, um, the description is crisp greens, orange flower, creamy violet, and even a hint of white wicker basket will let you savour the scent of just washed laundry, dried naturally in the fresh air anytime you please. And it smells amazing. Um, we also have honeymoon hideaway um, escape to the secluded retreat of dew kissed lily and tart sweet kiwi shaded by lustful coconut palm um i think it's probably stronger on the lily smell than anything else but we're all quite different with how we smell things but it's 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 beautiful it smells amazing um french lavender does what it says on the tin i don't know if i already mentioned this one but i put it down and i picked it back up again but it's gorgeous and it's not the chemical smelling lavender that you get um with sort of drawer liners and stuff it, it, it smells like you're walking through um yunnan's old garden where she's got a big bunch of lavender it's lovely um coconut lemongrass this is gorgeous um you do get the lemon you do get the coconut and it's a real lovely lovely smell um, and the penultimate in the classics range is black raspberry vanilla. Um, I'm not massively into vanilla, um, but I do love this smell, oddly enough. I think um, the combination of the three scents complement each other. And last but not least in the classics range is jumping jelly bean. Now, this is a lovely um, sweet smell. If you like the smell of sweets, the official um, description is crisp pear and apple zest lemon and sugar evoke sweet childhood memories now i wasn't allowed to eat as a kid so it doesn't revoke it doesn't evoke any memories of me as a child um but hey ho it might to some other people um and that's it really that's the classics range 
Um, I will be doing an order in the next few days. So if anyone local to me would like um, to place an order and save yourself on the postage and packaging, let me know and I can bundle it in with mine and um, deliver it for you free of charge. Um, I will be doing another video at some point over the next couple of days with a description um, for some of the other scent ranges. So we have the autumn and winter range, um, holiday, um, new releases, kids, the tried and true fragrances and romance. And actually my second favourite range is the range for men. There is a range of smellies for the guys. So um if you're wondering what to get the old man for Christmas and he's a bit picky um, and his man cave or his office is a bit whiffy, um, you're not only treating him, but you're treating yourself as well. But <laughs> I don't know if anyone heard that, but my husband was laughing in the corner of the room. Um, once again, um, the website is www.fabsmellystuff.co.uk. If anyone would like a book or they would like some samples, please let me know um, there is a little book and there's also a little leaflet that I could put in if you don't want to do that um, or if you would like um, the bag of smellies to sit at your leisure over the course of a day or two to sniff and decide what you like let me know and that was it sorry for burning your ear off and I will see you soon bye